Yeah, hello and welcome again to my new case of the month. Sorry, it took me some time, but um, finally I got a few cases ready again to be published. And today, again, thanks to Barrett Hobel for doing wonderful technician work here. And actually, time flies. This is a case from now, maybe a year ago, one and a half years ago. And technology has advanced so much, so within the next videos you're going to see uh, quite drastic changes. So this is one of the last of my uh, analog cases which I wanted to show you. Uh, classic situation, um, upper right central incisor being uh, root canal treated, failing root canal treatment, vertical fracture and so on, so can't couldn't be saved anymore. And then of course we have the options of either doing nothing a Marion bridge removable denture, bridge or implant, and the patient decided to go for the implant. Um, extraction session, then very simple, uh, try to dissect the tooth in uh, either oral um, labial direction or in, like I preferred, mesiodistal direction, as you can see here. And um, then taken out fragment by fragment without damaging the buccal bone lamella. So it's a very straightforward case, a thick uh, gingival type, quadrangular teeth, uh, quite low papillas. Um, what we have to be a bit aware of later on when we do the restoration is the patient is grinding heavily, of course he gets a night cut, but uh, that the implant doesn't have any contact in dynamic occlusion. And this is something we need to check every recall. Then drilling for the implant freehand in this case. And uh, filling the gap between the uh, implant and the extraction socket with bone augmentation material and a plugger. And in this case, we did a so-called internal uh, nasal lift. That means we use the extremely stable um, uh, bone of the palatum durum to get the final one, two millimeters of the tooth really fixed in there. Then placing the implant. In this case, a Camlock progressive line implant. Very forgiving, very wonderful implant very easy to handle and f very forgiving, which is in some cases uh, much needed. And then, like I said, my last analog case, um, the intraoral impression. And here you can see the situation of the implant placed, maybe a tiny bit too far buckly, but uh, like I said, uh, we have thick gingival type and probably they're still going to last for a very, very long time. And then, after one and a half hours after the impression, placing the temporary, very important that the emergence profile section is rather concave, not convex, and of course very well polished. And then placing the temporary on the same day, in this case without any connective tissue growth, without anything, we know the gingival type is very thick. We're gonna probably going to lose a millimeter over, over the next three years, but in this case, completely okay. The way I do it is always no contacts in mesial distal direction and uh, definitely no contact in occlusion. Good, and then you see here, um, three months later, the um, preparation for the final restoration. Again, very important, the emergence profile that we have the abutment not convex, not sticking out, but more concave, uh, so that the uh, circular um, fibers can really orient themselves around and build a, a bulwark against uh, any recession later on. So this is then the uh, design of the final crown. We will do a zirconium dioxide crown, zirconia FX, has a um, flexor strength of around 700 megapascal, and it will be veneered labially. And then you can see here the finished restoration, um, tube and tube, titanium abutment, then of course cemented in this case I think with multilink onto the zirconia abutment, and then a zirconia veneered crown.
on top. So wonderful work again from Barrett. And here you can see we haven't lost any gums really. The situation is very stable and uh, looking very good actually. And uh, so this is the situation of the temporary after three months. So I remove the temporary, fantastically healed soft tissue. And then place the abutment, the individual and customer abut abutment. Uh, screw it with, in this case, 20 newton centimeters, and this is the final crown. So an absolute standard work. Nowadays we do the work, the workflow is not entirely different, but very different from that. So I will show you a series of cases now, and I hope you'll enjoy them. So thank you very much for watching, and um, yeah, hope to see you for the next cases. Thank you very much.